We have Dominique, young, unique in the building. She's the she's the gangster hard hitter for, out of 813, yeah, right? Yeah, right? That's what yeah, it is. That's yeah, what the song yeah. says. <laughs> That's from War Talk, one of my favorite cuts from the, uh, the mixtape. <laughs> Domination just came out yesterday. Dominique, how excited are you to be in New York right now? I feel good. You know, this is like my third time here. It's yeah. nice. Is this your first time performing here, though? Oh, yes. The first it, time performing. And you performed at Santos last night. I know we touched on that a little bit, but how was the crowd? They was, like, relating to me. They was jam yeah. jerking and stuff. <laughs> That's what we like to hear. We like to hear a relatability factor, and you definitely yes. have that. I mean, your style is unique, as your name says. I mean, for lack of oh, a better word. Thank you. But, I mean, you're young. You're mm-hmm. on the rise. You're up and coming. How did you get started into music, and how did you know that this was what you wanted to do? <laughs> okay, like, when I was 11 years old, man, my cousin, we used to play around or whatever. Okay. But I, I found my talent when I was 12 years old. That's so young. I know. I, don't, I was still playing with Barbie dolls when I was 12 <laughs> years old. I wasn't rapping. Yeah. And I, by no means am I rapping now, but you are, so yeah. 12 years old, and then mm-hmm. what happened? Yeah, I was 12 years old and I found my talent because, like, I used to perform, like, for my dad and his friends and right. stuff. And then it was like, girl, you got talent. Use that talent or whatever. I used to want to be so much that I used to want to be a teacher, a doctor, um, <laughs> a, a science person. Like, I used to want to do so much things. A model. Like, I remember one day my dad. Well, you're still young. You could still do it. I know. <laughs> I know. But, like, I remember one day it was me and my dad. We went to this model company, John Castle Blankets or whatever. And then he had all the money. He'll figure it and pay for me modeling. i like, Dad, I don't want to model. Right. <laughs> and, then, and then he was like, Girl, what is you going to do? Is you going to make up your mind? Like, yeah, I'm going to I'm rap yeah. or whatever. So, one day I was in Robert's Park. That's my hood. That's right. in Tampa, Florida. And then I don't know how my mom and Shawna K started socializing. And then I was on the court with my friends, and then my mom called me over. She was like, you know Shawna K do music, so... They told me to hit a little verse, so I hit a little something for Shonda Put K. you on the spot right there, and you got yeah. to drop it right there. I yeah? know. <laughs> so I had hit a little something for Shonda K, and then, like, she gave me a business card because she was like, damn, girl, you got talent yeah. or whatever. And, and that's so, Shonda K from Your Majesty. Yeah, yeah. Your Majesty. Okay. So I called her. We went in the studio, me, Dave, and Shonda K, and me and David started connecting, and right. it is what it is. It so. is what it is today, and, dude, we couldn't yeah. be happier that it is what it is today. We're glad you're not a scientist or a doctor. We're glad you're <laughs> a rapper because your tracks are on fire and it's oh, it's definitely you. some of the most played tracks that we've had all year so yeah. we're 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 happy to have you here uh, and i mean you're not in school anymore obviously right Mm-mm. so but when you were when you started out rapping and you were still in school how did you how did you manage to do that was it hard was it well easy? it was well, I was busy. Yeah. And like, <laughs> yeah, I was busy or whatever. Like, I had to do homework. I threw the homework to the side. I write one verse, come back to my homework, and like, work it together. That's good. That's perfect. It was kind of, yeah, it was there. Was That's there. perfect. Do you actually remember the first verse you ever wrote? Yeah. Because you started so early. I know. So, you remember the first one that you wrote? Yeah. Can you spit a little bit right now? Do, do sweat. I'm swinging hands, and I'm going to hit it to the floor, and I'm going to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, okay, you guys will not find that track on the mixtape. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Dominique, what comes up next for you then? You have the mixtape out now. Any full lengths, any full singles coming out? What happens next Well, for you? yeah, I'm really fed to um, be in the studio now working on my album and stuff. Yeah? Yeah. Excellent. And do you have any plans as to when that might come out? Is it going to come out this year or what? Well, it'll, it'll probably come out around the beginning of next year. Okay. And, but I'm going to be throwing singles and stuff, like, on the table. And Good. I, I'm, I'm excited <laughs> to hear those then. That's yeah. awesome. And uh, so the mixtape, I want to I want to go back to that a little bit. The mixtape is definitely, you know, your name is Dominique Young Unique, but the okay. mixtape is unique because it's just you. There's no guest drops, and there's no one coming in to drop a verse. It's all you, so you're putting it all out there, basically. <laughs> you're not relying on anyone else to carry you. Yeah. And so far, you know, the energy and the support around it has been amazing. Was this, like, a decision that you just wanted to do just you, or did you want to bring in anyone else? Or Well, yeah, it's like a decision. I would just wanted to do me because, like, I'm focused on myself right now. Right. I'm trying to get myself out there and stuff. Definitely. Well, you've done a, a, a great job of it so far. <laughs> I hope everybody is loving Dominique Young Unique.